Because of the situation that we're in, we just bought another house, and I can't put the maximum in. When you say you can't, you are speaking words of poverty when you're around me. The word can't, thoughts like that mean you never ever will. The power of the spoken word has had a big impact on my life. Uh, not to the level that it will, but uh, to a great degree, right? Uh, when I was at Texas State getting my bachelor's and my master's, one of the things that I consistently spoke upon myself was that, I, you know, my name is Robert Fluker. You know, my friends call me Fluker. Feel free to do so. I'm terrible at names and faces. Uh, and because I spoke that, I consistently was terrible at names and faces. And what I didn't recognize was the power that those words had over me because when I spoke it, my subconscious recognized it as truth and it accepted it as fact. And so it wasn't until after I started speaking different things upon myself specifically, it'll, uh, I'll, you know what? I'm getting better at names and faces, so I'm gonna try to do my best to remember yours. When I started speaking those positive things that I started remembering people's names, right? And to a greater degree, even my uh, innate negativity and my innate uh, or natural uh, tendency to see the downside of things. Uh, I, was, I lived a, a long time being a very negative person and it took a long period of time of speaking positivity into myself and recognizing that the only way, and it, it sounded so cheesy to me all the time, right? Like, you know, speak what you want. And then, you know, I was that negative person who said, you know, you spoke what you wanted to happen, but it didn't happen. I didn't recognize that it takes that consistent speaking over yourself to convince your subconscious mind that there's some truth to something, right? Great example, uh, a good friend of mine went for a job interview the other day, and um, you know, I believe she got the results now, I believe she got the job, but I told her, hey, speak, walk in there speaking and believing that this job is yours. Don't be arrogant or cocky, but speak to yourself and know your own value and, and speak that upon yourself because the impact that that will have in your confidence will be what gives, gets you the job. Uh, you know, skipping past all of the uh, other aspects of the spoken word, but Planting that seed into your own mind is what will allow you to have the sureness to get the position. And I did that one time and I did not get a position. And someone said, hey, looks like your spoken word thing doesn't uh, work. But the reality is that I know I would not have gotten the position for sure had I walked in speaking the opposite. Right. And so, and not only that, but two to three months later, I got the position. Mm -hmm. And so even though it didn't necessarily happen on my time, even though it didn't necessarily manifest immediately, it manifested. Uh, but so many people doubt the spoken word because their assumption is that if they speak something and it doesn't happen immediately, that the spoken word does not work. When in reality, if you look at the course of your life, what you speak ends up being who you are. And so if you're looking at the next day, the next month, the next three months, what you speak may not be who you are. But if you do it consistently over the course of a long period of time, your life will change its trend. Have you ever caught yourself saying words, things that were seemingly harmless? You know, words that mm, couldn't possibly hurt you, right? Words like, I can't, I'm not, I, you know, <laughs> saying things like, I'm not good at certain things, I can't do certain things i don't have these types of words you know it, it makes me even <laughs> i cringe almost using these words that i used to use back in the day i've heard people say and sometimes even my friends say things like oh i'm really bad at directions oh i'm just i'm not you know i'm not that type of person i'm just really i'm not really good at that I'm not good at this. I'm not good at that. I can't do this. I can't do that. And wow, you know, what a difference a word makes. <laughs> I've seen the difference in my own life. I've seen it for a positive and I've seen it for negative. And I'll have to tell you, I prefer positive. I prefer seeing the effects of the positive words that I speak in my life instead of speaking words of poverty. Because in my life, there still are barriers 
in my mind that I put up when I was younger, not knowing the power of words. May you know in your own life how words have affected you and how they have affected others. But they affect you the most. The words spoken on an innermost level, they start to shape your destiny. Too many of us listen to ourselves too much and don't speak to ourselves positively enough. Speak to yourself in the affirming, in the confirming. Speak to yourself how you would want to receive and believe that you can always achieve. Thank you. This has been Jerome Shaw on T.O.P. That is the Open Palm podcast here in San Antonio, Texas. Now, the Open Palm means harmony with the world, understanding our place in the world, using our skills accordingly, greeting the world with an open palm instead of a closed fist. I hope and I pray that you did receive a message from this today, that it was a positive message you would pass on to a like-minded individual like yourself who deserves to hear this, to level up in their life. Give yourself words of power and affirmation. Boost yourself up for everywhere you go, there you are. If you enjoy positive messages like this and you enjoy this podcast in general, consider supporting it by opening your browser, going to anchor.fm slash jshaw, supporting it there. That is much appreciated. And if taking just a moment of your time to give this a good rating on whatever platform you are listening to it, that is also much appreciated. I'm also on YouTube at Jerome Shaw. Just type in my name and you will find videos there that can inspire you day by day. In fact, there is a contest going on here for the month of June for everyone who supports the podcast with even $1 in the month of June by going to that link, anchor.fmjshaw, you will enter a contest to be entered for a chance to receive $100 by June 30th. That's when the contest ends. So just (laughs) some fun incentive for you if you are looking to win some money. All right, my friend, as always... Stay powerful and have a blessed day or night, wherever you are. Take care.